Hey everybody and welcome back to Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm Oz, Jack and Letter, still like Jacks because we're doing the social distance stuff. So this is still coming from my little galley kitchen and it's gonna be small and horrible and I apologize. If anything runs up, bites me, runs off, I'll never know what it is. So just shout out if you know what it is or put it down in the comments. We're gonna do orange chicken. I don't want to do this. I know it's another crock pot thing. Not everybody has a crock pot, not everybody's a fan of this, but people are looking for some food prep kind of ideas. And uh, this will work, and my oven's busted, so this, this and stove tops. So, yeah. so, before we get into it, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Ring the little bell, give you notifications of when we do these on Tuesdays and Fridays. Thank you very much for those. All the likes help with the algorithm. They're really awesome. Thank you so much. Also, down in the doobly doo, we got our link to our merch, man. Aprons, fake hands, potholders, spoons, spatulas, flippers. And yeah, that's it. But it's all in the link down in the doobly doo. We're a small company. We very much appreciate this. And, uh... Let's just get into it, man. Quick, fast, and in the, in the food. Let's do this. All right. I'm still kind of sunburned a little bit. All right. All right. So you're going to need uh, some chicken breast. Uh, you can cut these up. You can leave them big. You can use half of them. I think this is like a pound and a half, so I could use half of it for the one pound that they're asking for. You're going to need some uh, orange marmalade, just one cup of that, and then a cup of barbecue sauce. Any kind would do. I prefer stubs, but this is our cheaper stuff. And soy sauce. You're going to need a tablespoon of this stuff. And that's it other than a crock pot. Again, we're cooking this in a crock pot. It's going to take forever, but it's going to be great it's slow cooking and great for meal prep stuff. So just get your crock pot, make sure it's clean, and layer your chicken out on the bottom. You kind of want to lay it out and make sure it fits. You don't want it kind of clumped up because the middle of it might not cook as well if it's kind of like wadded up together. So, uh, and you don't really want to put a lot of gaps in here. I'm going to show you this. You get this in here, try to fit, and you can see kind of where the gaps are. You want to fill that in. I just went ahead and used my entire package of a pound and a half, uh, and this turned out really well. You could probably go with two to three pounds with it. So, like I was saying, get you the one, uh, or sorry, two tablespoons of soy sauce. I believe the recipe called for one, and I didn't think it was going to be enough, just because that's where you get your the salt, the savory bits from here. So, go ahead and put uh, two tablespoons in that, and it turned out. One cup of the barbecue sauce. Now, one of the reasons I hate having to put this in here and measure it is then I have to scrape and get it all out. Now, we have these little spatulas in the shop. Shameless plug, shameless plug. But uh, you can use a butter knife, your finger, anything to kind of get it out. I wish there was a way to measure it without that. I just feel like I'm wasting some of the barbecue sauce that doesn't all get out of that. Once you get that barbecue sauce on it, just kind of rub it over the top. You don't have to worry about getting it under it because as it heats up, it'll seep down in there and cook the get on the bottom of the chicken as it cooks. So don't worry about that. So just make sure the top is nice and covered. Uh, get as much of that off that spatula as you can. Then once you got that and your soy sauce in it, go ahead and your one cup of the orange marmalade. Well, that comes out a lot easier. So there you go. Uh, nothing in there. Again, just make sure it's covered on the top. You don't have to worry about getting it under it or coating the entire chicken as it'll as it cooks. It'll get down in there. And this is a nice simple one. This is all you need, and then you cover it up and cook it. So it's kind of spread it around. You don't have to pre-mix it beforehand because again, that's another container you have to measure it, put it into put that, put it in here. Just right in here, you're fine. Put a lid on it. Make sure you got a lid. Uh, I lost my lid for a while, so uh, always the lid helps. We're gonna put it on low. That's less low now for six hours. Now, they say you can do it for four or five. I don't trust that it's chicken, so go ahead and put it on six. Put it on low and let it sit, man. Uh, just let that cook. Let your slow cooker slash crock pot do it. Oh, I forgot I was wearing my <laughs> compression gloves. I was doing some uh, painting, so my hands have been hurting. So uh, ignore the gloves. Sorry. But after six hours is thoroughly cooked, you check your temperature in the middle of it. For 165 and you're good let this sit it'll start to thicken solidify a little bit serve this on some rice boom uh take two of these and put them in your food prep containers right two of these little tenders and some rice and you're done like this is great uh this costs less than 10 bucks you can serve this as one meal for four to five people or you know like four or five meals to one fat guy or you can just set it as a meal a day for your lunch stuff for your food prep this is great super simple super uh, cheap uh, not quite quick because it takes like six hours and a little bit of prep time but <laughs> it is absolutely amazing and you don't have to wear the compression gloves and there you have it folks that only took a little as six and a half hours to make this <laughs> wow that was really good though uh Y'all try it differently, you want to see it doing differently, let us know. Put it down in the comments, man. I wanted to revisit this. I was really thinking about using some, uh, like, pineapple preserves or something, or maybe some raspberry stuff. Make some raspberry chicken. I think that would be a genius idea. I want to try that. Uh, but let us know. If y'all do it differently, you want to see it done, 
put down in the comments here. You can also find us on social media. You can find us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Patreon at Living Between Paychecks Kitchen and all those. You can also find us at Instagram at Living Between. Over oh, there, we had to cut it short for some reason. And, man, I'm going to read some more of this. <laughs> Catch you all next time. Be safe.